हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय मिसेस कोमल परदेशी वर्किंग ॲज अन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्प्युटर सायन्स अँड इंजिनिअरिंग ऑफ वालचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर गोईंग टू डिलिव्हर अ लेक्चर ऑन इंटरनल रिप्रेझेंटेशन ऑफ फाईल्स इन युनिक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन आर ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टुडंट विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राईब द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फाईल्स इन युनिक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम these are different file system algorithms as we already know there are different buffer allocation algorithms gate block buffer release buffer read buffer read ahead and buffer write gate block algorithm is used for allocation of buffer buffer release algorithm is used to release a buffer while buffer read algorithm is used to read the content of the disk block and the buffer read ahead algorithm is used to read subsequent content from the disk block to the buffer while the buffer write algorithm is used to write the content of the buffer to the disk block these algorithms we already studied in the last chapter now in this chapter we are going to see the lower level file system algorithms that are name i i get i put b map alloc free i alloc and i free all these algorithms are related to the files the name i algorithm is used to convert the path name into an i node using algorithm i get i put and b map i get i put b map algorithms are used to the allocate the i node to the file i put algorithm is used to release the i node from the file and b map algorithm is used to read the content from that file alloc and free algorithm are used to allocate and free the disk block for the file while i alloc and i free algorithms are used to allocate an i node to the newly created file and free that i node so all these algorithms are related to the file system now how file is treated in unix operating system in unix everything is treated as a file even devices are also treated as a special file all devices are represented by files called as a special file that are located in slash dev directory these are accessed in the same way as a regular file device files has two categories first is block special file and second is character special file in block special file data gets transfer in terms of blocks so it has characteristics similar to the disk and that's why it is called as a block special file while in character special file data get transfer by stream of bits in sequential order like keyboard so it is called as a character special file every file on unix operating system has an unique i node processes access files by well defined set of system calls file can be specified by a character string called as a path name each path name is unique and it is converted into an i node what is an i node i node is nothing but an index node it exists in a static form on a disk the kernel reads them into an in core i node to manipulate them basically i node contains information necessary for a process to access file such as file ownership access rights file size and location of the files data i node has two types first type is disk i node which is nothing but copy on disk that is secondary storage and the second type is in core i node which is copy in memory so whenever file is accessed by process in core copy of an i node is generated in memory first we are going to see what disk i node contains disk i node consists of file owner identifier file owner are individual owner or group owner or other users 
whatever that file owner is that is defined in file owner identifier field file type the type of the file may be a regular file device file device file means it may be a block special file or character special file it may be a directory and the another type of file is fifo that is first in first out which is also called as a pipe so file types are regular file device special files directory or pipes file access permissions file is protected by owner group owner or other users so there are different access permissions for the file like read write and execute as i said directory is also created as a file so the execute permission to the directory means that directory can be searchable we can search data into that directory the next field is file access time it indicates that the file can be accessed at what time at what time it is modified the number of links to the file number of links shows how many number of files are linked to this currently existing file table of content for the disk address of data in a file now user treats the file as a sequential logical stream of bytes but actually that file is stored on different disk blocks on the disk so the discontinuous discontinuous disk blocks addresses are stored in a table in an disk inode then file size the size of the file is also mentioned in a disk inode this is a sample disk inode where the file is owned by owner mjb group owner of the file is operating system type of the file is regular file permissions to the file are read write and execute and these are the date and time for file access and modified then inode means at what time that inode is changed it shows the time when inode of that file gets changed next the size of the file and the disk address means the table which contains the address of the discontinuous block of the disk which contains the data of that file now this inode get change whenever we change the owner or the group or the type of the file or if we change some contents into that file now just pause a video and write down your answer for the question when will be the content of the disk inode get changed by the kernel okay now when the content of the disk inode get changed content of the disk inode get changed when the content of the file gets changed second the con i not get change whenever we change the file owner or file permission or link setting to the file so it is important to note that changing the content of the files automatically implies a change to an inode but changing the inode does not imply that the content of the file get change the next type of an inode is in core inode it consists of status of in core inode indicating whether the inode is locked whether the process is waiting for an inode to become unlocked the in core representation of the inode which differs from the disk copy as a result of change to the data in the inode the in core representation of the inode differs from the disk copy as a result of change to the file data means if the content of the files get changed okay then the file is a mount point in core inode also consists of the logical device number of the file system that contains the file it contains the inode number since all the inodes in unix are stored in a linear array so the inode number of the disk inode is identified by the position of that disk inode into that linear array pointer to other in core inode one inode may point to other in core inode because all these in core inodes are stored in on a hash queue or on a free list so there is link between different in core inodes a reference count it shows that how many number of instances are linked to the currently executing file so 
the if we want to differentiate between an in core inode and a disk inode disk inode is nothing but the copy of an inode on to the disk while in core inode is nothing but the copy of an inode in memory in core copy is nothing but the content of the disk inode are copied into the memory in in core inode and along with the content of the disk inode in core inode contains all these fields so the content of the in core copy of an inode may differ from the disk copy of an inode if there is change in the file contents so this is all about the inode of the file in unix operating system inode has two types that is disk inode and in core inode so this is all about the inode of the file in unix operating system in next video we are going to see about how this inode can be accessed or released by the files in unix operating system these are the references thank you